Hello and welcome back to Luxloma. It has been a long time since I was able to visit my friend in the Czech Republic. With him I was able to use my Chem 870 with his high power shells, which are forbidden to use in Germany because of stupid laws and so. I recently saw my children playing with marbles. I noticed that one size of the marbles combined with a modified wad fit perfectly into my Chem 870 shells. I became curious and wanted to know what damage the marbles can do. Since they are much heavier than my 300 projectiles, they can transport significantly more energy to their target. I didn't bring many targets with me, just my old camera case, an old matchbox car and some food. Let's start with the camera case. That looked very impressive. The marble almost completely broke through. The thin sheet of metal really had no chance. Now from the inside we see that the marble was only a few millimeters away from complete penetration. We shoot the case one or two more times to see if we can see any other effects. And yes, we can see that the energy from the second shot is no longer as high as the third shot. The shells are loaded via two 12 gram CO2 cartridges. Logically, the pressure is no longer as strong after the first filling, there is correspondingly less energy in the shell. Now let's change the target to something much more robust. The more robust car combined with the ever lower energy shows that the marble is not a good projectile. In the hope that we still have a little pressure on the next load, let's now change the target to this apple. Unfortunately, there's already so much steam out of the system and I don't have any more CO2 cartridges uh, to refill the loader. So we change our weapon and compare it with a German version of the HP Max that is, I guess, two to three times weaker than those X-Power Chem 870 shells. So what do you think, are marbles good alternative to my 3 tint projectiles? I don't believe so. The first shot probably hurts a lot, but after that the shells have not enough power to accelerate the heavy marble. Unless you replace the almost full CO2 cartridges in the charger after every shot or two. The printed projectiles, on the other hand, are lighter and therefore much faster and can still be accelerated very strongly even with less pressure. So I hope you enjoyed this video, if so give me a like, subscribe and let me know what you liked and let me know what you didn't like in the comments below. I hope I see you next time, until then, goodbye.